Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com and today let's talk about painting faster. So when I'm painting, I often make a new layer, you know, paint a little, erase a little, and then make another new layer. And I paint a little and erase a little. This is a process I call temp layers, but really it's just one of the things that I do the most of, and I do it rapidly over and over. And so any minor annoyance will really slow down my painting. For instance, clicking the little button that would slow me down. Additionally, clicking the new layer keyboard shortcut brings up this little box. That's annoying. So that also would slow me down. What I wanna do is make it seamless. I wanna make it invisible. I wanna have one key give me a new layer with no interruptions. And the way we're gonna do this is by using an action. Now the first thing to mention is there is a keyboard shortcut to make a new layer without the box. Instead of Control Shift N, it's actually Control Shift Alt N. And it's invisible, you won't see anything on screen, but it just gives me new layers. The problem though is it's four keys, so obviously that's not very streamlined. So what I wanna do is in between this cumbersome keyboard shortcut and my final result, I'm gonna put an action. So let's start by opening the actions palette. I'm gonna make a new action, and let's call it new layer, no box record. Now I just have one step, which is control shift alt N. Okay. So it popped up there, make layer. That's it. I hit stop. So what's the point? Well, the point of this is that actions can be bound to function keys. And the way we do that is by selecting the action, go here to the options and I change it to, I'll do F2 because that's very near my fingertips. All right. Okay. So now F2 sends that very simple action, which is to make a new layer without the box. And let's test it out. Look how easy that is. It's not four fingers, it's not interrupting, it's just easy. So we can take this one step further and we can make a glaze layer in the same way. And what is a glaze layer? Well, it's just a layer with its mode set to multiply. And what that allows you to do is to kind of glaze color over top. It's something I use all the time. I'm not going to be redundant and show the same process again, but this would be very similar. I want a single key keyboard shortcut because I want to hit it all the time. So I'd make a new action. This time it would be two steps. It would be make a new layer. And then the second step would be to set that layer's blending mode to multiply. Then you stop recording, bind it to whatever you want. Maybe it's F3. Now you can make a glaze layer with one key press. Now I want to make it clear, new layer and glaze layer, these are just my personal things. The bigger issue here is figuring out what you do the most of and streamlining it. In this case, I'm using actions as a way to get around Photoshop's limitation for what you can bind keyboard shortcuts to. But that's just the technical part. At a high level, all I'm doing is figuring out how can I make one button on my computer yield a complicated action and in doing so, streamline my painting process. You could achieve this with a G13 if you wanted, because this is totally programmable. So here I wouldn't use an action at all. I would just make one of the keys on my G13, send Control Shift Alt N. You could do the same thing with a programmable mechanical keyboard. Really, there's a lot of input options to achieve a similar result. But the issue at hand here is to think about your process, see what you do a lot of, and see if that's something that can be streamlined. If it is, do it now and get used to it because you're going to paint a lot faster. Give it a try. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.